So welcome back everyone uh, to the seventh tutorial of Campus today. Uh, in the previous tutorial we had seen how to put in casings. So today we are going to see how we can put in our lithologies. I hope we are having a wonderful time uh, doing this and I hope we are all enjoying it. So we come to this part which is after the uh, casings and then we can select the lithology. So this is basically for purposes of learning so please uh, if you have any questions you can come into my inbox you can send me an email you can also send me a message on whatsapp i'll be able to assist so basically this is to help you to get into the field and you at least have the basic knowledge of landmark software so the lithology you click on the lithology we have the tops and then we have the surface so we can put in the different tops that we have so you put in a measure depth so i'm going to just select three lithologies so you put in a measure depth of 200 so this is roughly it's a rough selection please uh it's for purposes of understanding how to do data input so i'm going to choose uh clay for this formation then i will have to choose this formation to clay i have to change this formation to to clay so here i place i put clay and then i have to put in its dipping angle so if its dipping angle for example is five then you put in the striking angle maybe the striking angle is at 165 then i'm going to put in another one at 800 i'm going to put in only three formations so at 800 I'm um, saying maybe we have so you you click the drop down button and you choose uh, one of these I'm going to choose limestone fossil so I have to change this name to the name that I've selected so this is limestone limestone fossil so I put in its dipping uh, according to the interpretation by the geologist so the dipping angle may be I'm using this as assumption so the dipping angle may be at 15 or it can even be less let's say it's, uh, it's 3 and then we have the striking angle the dip there is the strike striking angle can be at 178 so we put in the last one which I'm going to put at uh, 2000 and uh, I'm going to select sandstone this time round so we scroll down and look for sandstone so we can look for sandstone uh, fossil sandstone shelly or any so for purposes of today we are using sandstone fossil so sandstone fossil we change the name to sand stone fossil so we put in the dipping angle which is quite less maybe it's 1.5 and then we have the dipping dial at 100 uh maybe 189 so we've selected the lithologies we also come and click on ok and then we want to view it we come to this down section and click on logo formations though we have not we had not finished this we also need to put in the surfaces so this works with tvd uh, we are going to come back to this so let's first look at the formations that we put in so if um, to put out the casings right now we are left with only the formations maybe to view the formations very well I'm also going to move the graph we come and click here so that we can be able to view the formation so you realize that at this point it's clay at this point it's limestone at this point it's sandstone so uh, I hope we have all learned how to do that now this is our seventh lecture 
so next time we shall be covering how to do points targets points and targets in uh in campus thank you everyone uh for completing the seventh uh module